Welcome back to my channel, and <laughs> if you can't tell, I tried to recreate Gwen Stefani's ex-girlfriend music video look. So, in honor of Valentine's Day, as me being everyone's ex-girlfriend, I thought I should recreate the look, don't you think? It's only fitting. I don't know. I tried my best. Obviously, no one can look as good as Gwen Stefani. She's amazing. Without further ado, let us jump right into this tutorial. Okay. Eyelids first. I practiced this already once, so I can't even tell that I have a bruise. Oh shit. If you can tell, I was at a show yesterday and I got headbutted. In the face. So I'm just gonna prime my eyelids with soft ochre paint pot because I want the most vibrancy for this look. Since I'm going to be working with bright colors, I need a good base. Next, I'm going to take this uh, MAC 224 brush. My guy, 50 cent. Now I'm going to go into this blush palette. I'm going to mix this color and this color. Let's get most of this though. I'm going to grab, I'm going to apply this eyeshadow from here, but drag it all the way out to my temple. Like, but I usually drag my eyeshadow out, but this time I'm really dragging it out. Now the funny part with this is that this will, this always irritates my eyes, and this is probably really bad, but pain is beauty. Beauty is pain. There you go, set it backwards. Now this song from Gwen Stefani, this music video, actually means a lot to me because, I don't know, I kind of relate to this, as weird as that sounds. Like every guy that I've dated, I've always been- I, that sounds so bitter, but eh, whatever. I always feel like, oh, hi, I'm your new ex-girlfriend, so let's get this out of the way and do it. Not really do it, but you know. So you're just going to keep blending away this blushy color. I'm going to try to use this blush here. Maybe. I'm not sure if it'll work. To deepen up the crease a little bit. If not, I have another plan. What look would I be doing without this guy? So I'm going to dump... Jump into Love Letter. And a little bit of Venetian Red. Same brush. And I'm going to also deepen the crease up with this. But I'm going to bring it in all the way. Not just the outer. We're going to deepen the whole socket, basically. With the pants in the crib, ma. Drop it like it's hot. I'm going to take more Venetian Red and Love Letter. And deepen this little section up. Just a bit more, kind of like that. So far, I have the crease set. Now I'm going to use my um, soft ochre paint pot and cut the crease. Because when she closes her lid, she has a really pretty... I'm going to turn this down. She has a really pretty um, kind of champagne glitter color over top. So I'm just going to cut the crease with this thingy. You can already feel my eyes burning. So this is what the lid should look like. So I'm gonna take this um, overshadow sex pop thing from the balm and this shade is no money, no honey. And it's like the perfect match, honestly. So I'm just gonna lay that over the soft ochre. I saw Tyler the creator yesterday. That was pretty fucking cool. So I'm gonna take this little Morphe E17 brush and the this ColourPop Super Shock pigment in Erotic. I'm gonna take that onto this. 
and add this kind of to soften up right here. It's some black liquid liner. She has a pretty thick, intense wing, but it's not long. It's just thick. Ooh, she thick. The song is me. After your eyeliner is dry, you're going to take a makeup remover and you're going to clean up and make sure this is sharp. So from the liner, you're just going to go, okay. Sharp. So I'm going to take Venetian Red and Love Letter again. I'm gonna deepen this right here. So now I'm gonna take my primer and I'm gonna apply that. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't there. When was my? When did I have my first boyfriend? My first boyfriend, like boyfriend, fake boyfriend, I guess, was oh, in eighth grade. No, seventh grade. To this boy, and my mom got very mad at me. She made me break up with him the next day. So I did <laughs> because she was, you know, typical. Mexican parents, you're not allowed to have a boyfriend, shall I say so? So, that's how that happened. But I guess you could say my real, legit boyfriend was in ninth grade. And he was such a sweetheart. He was like, honestly, my favorite boyfriend. He would always buy me hot Cheetos and Arizona's after school. It was so sweet. My first boyfriend, I'm just gonna add my concealer. He was a true angel. He would always buy me snacks after school. And then of course I broke we broke up. Nothing it was ine inevitable. And then I dated around in high school, you know, the typical Oh my gosh, my brother is so inconsiderate right now. Is this a joke? Oh my gosh. So I'm just gonna take my concealer all the way to my cheekbones to highlight right there. You'll see why. But I want it to be all the way over there. Next for the lower lash line, I'm gonna take this Mr. Right Now Balm, the Balm Eyeliner, pencil eyeliner, and I'm gonna just line my waterline like crazy. Before I do that, I'm gonna go in with my NYX white eyeliner and I'm gonna draw a white line right here underneath the black eyeliner. Now I'm gonna continue to line my waterline with the black. I'm gonna bring it all the way in well under my lash line and to my waterline. You want it to look like you've been crying and it's well, you have been probably if you're anything like me this is just a base you're gonna go in with to smoke everything out then I'm just gonna take a detailed brush and some regular black eyeshadow and smoke everything out and kind of set it Then I'm going to go back into this pink shade that I took earlier, this pink shade that I took earlier here, and I'm going to smoke it underneath the black part. Okay, and then I'm going to take a detailed brush and some white eyeshadow and set the white eyeliner. So 
So basically, I smoked out pink underneath the black eyeshadow here, and then I have the white in between these two. For my eyebrows, I'm gonna do clear brow gel because Gwen Stefani in that video has really thin eyebrows. I think I would look kind of funny. So I'm just gonna leave mine as is. Well, that's just how I'm gonna go about this. I'm gonna be using Colossal Spider Effect on both the top and bottom eyelashes. Well, actually, I'm gonna do my bottom lashes in a little bit. But first, I'm gonna go in with some falsies. I think Iconics will do the trick. Maybe. Let's try them out. This is unsanitary, you guys, just so you know. Don't do that. But it's for me, so. Center. Corner. Inner corner. I don't know how the beauty gurus do it. Lashes on. Ooh. I feel so crazy right now. Oh, shoot. Okay, now I'm going to go ham at the bottom lashes with the same mascara. Close and personal. Not bad, not bad. I'm gonna go in back with the blush palette. And what Gwen does is she kind of contours with blush. So I'm just gonna do the same. For highlight, she actually uses a matte white shade, so I'm gonna do that. I'll use a white eyeshadow. I should probably use a smaller brush. Mm. I'm gonna use this Morphe M441 brush. It's a precious collection, you guys are look good. I love to wash in your own bath water. Love to think that you could have. She has some pretty cool rhinestones on her. Like, it looks like teardrops. So, where's my tweezers? Here we go. I'm gonna add some. Actually, I found them in my closet. So. Who knows where they came from? I'm using um, the eyelash adhesive to the, help them stick. So for lips, she has a really fuchsia lip, and I'm going to use this one from The Balm. It is called Dedicated. It's pretty fuchsia-y. I'm actually going to try to add a little bit of this pigment. Yeah. Bring a little bit more rosiness to it. It's kind of a cold pink. I'm just going to melt everything together with this herb and mineral moisture, sp moisture spray by Diane mm, DMK. Can't say the whole thing. It smells like a doctor's office or a band aid, as most would say. And this is a complete look. Thank you for watching, Star Babies. I hope you enjoyed. Um, this is obviously a fun, recreated look that I did for Valentine's Day. I hope you enjoy. Um, yeah. I feel like this is a really iconic look and no one has like recreated it. So I was like, I need to do it. So I did it. Um, shout out to all of my ex-boyfriends. I'm your favorite ex-girlfriend. I probably am. So, make sure to follow my Instagram, my Twitter, and my Facebook will be linked down below. And I will see you guys in my next video.